Susan Fleet with Peter Liddell and Wendy Sadler from St. Peter and St. James Hospice The Mid-Sussex Business Community came together on Friday for the 8th Burgess Hill Means Business Exhibition. More than 100 businesses attended the biennial event, which is organized by the Burgess Hill Business Parks Association. It was an opportunity for member organizations to network and promote their services and products to potential clients, customers and associates. Exhibitors ranged from national organizations like Barclays Bank and Travail Employment Group to more local concerns such as the Preview and St. Peter and St. James Hospice. Media sponsors Connections Radio were present throughout the day to record interviews with attendees and organizers. A special program will be broadcast next week. Of particular note was a Women in Business seminar, arranged by BHVPA directors to mark the centenary of the women's vote. Anya led with Aveshkan, discussed the importance of green credentials for all businesses, large and small, and provided top tips for gaining accreditation. She also discussed her key role as chairman of Gatwick Diamond Business. Angela Gill, managing director of Bio Productions, shared her experiences of mentoring and developing her team following a successful management buyout. She explained that the reward was something she couldn't put a price on. Rosemary Frenchob, executive director of Gatwick Diamond Initiative, finished the seminar by talking about successful collaborations between business associations. She shared information on how the business economy in the region is performing as well as skills data. First aid demonstrations were also on offer and proved to be of interest to exhibitors and visitors alike. Susan Fleet, chairman of BHBPA, said, We were thrilled with the turnout for this year's Burgess Hill Means business. It was wonderful to see so many business people engaged, and the feedback has been that a lot of worthwhile networking occurred. It was a special privilege to recognize women in business at this year's event, and Rosemary, Anya and Angela offered insightful, informative and, above all, interesting talks that really provided food for thought. Gary Wall, leader of Mid-Sussex District Council, addressed the exhibition and praised the work undertaken by the association.